Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do a video about my most recent piercing and it's all about my Rook piercing. Basically I've been seeing this piercing around kind of like everywhere. I mean my sister have been talking about getting it done for like a year or so and a couple of weeks ago I finally took the plunge. If you follow me on Instagram then you'd have seen I put a picture of it up on there and I got a lot of questions basically asking how much it hurt, what it was like, things like that that I just thought I'd answer in a video and it'd be quite nice just to kind of send this to anyone that kind of inquires about it or if anyone is generally thinking about getting their rook pierced and just wants to know a little bit more information about it then hopefully this video is helpful. So I'm going to get straight onto the information that you're probably here to see about it and I really do hope that it helps anyone that's considering getting it done. The first question that I got a few times was how much I paid to get it done. Now where I went to it cost me £25 and I guess I don't know really how much it is generally. I feel like it's kind of around that no matter where you are but I am obviously based in North Devon so it may be slightly different here to what it's like in Newcastle or in Liverpool things like that but I think that everything is kind of relative and I think £25 is normally kind of where it is, it's like a good average. So that's how much it cost. Now the question I got more so than how much did it cost was how much did it hurt? And to be honest, I was really nervous because there's so many videos on YouTube that say, and I quote, it's the most painful piercing you can get in your ear. And obviously I've not had my entire ear pierced, but it was completely bearable. Like it really wasn't that bad. Like on a scale to zero to 10, I'd probably rate it like a five. I don't think it was overly painful. Obviously, when it was being done, I kind of like gritted my teeth and was like, ah. Oh. But once it was done, it was over and it really hasn't hurt since getting it done. Obviously, when you get a needle put through your ear, it's not the most pleasant experience. But I've had quite a lot of piercings. I've got my tongue pierced, my tragus. I had my scaffold in, which kind of went across my ear, but I have since taken that out. I have just like quite a few different piercings and I feel like obviously it depends on your pain tolerance you know so many videos are going to mention that but I'd say that I have like a relatively normal pain tolerance like of course if something hurts like I'm gonna say ouch but honestly it really really wasn't that bad like I was totally dreading the pain just because of what I had seen but watching so many videos about it probably did me more harm than good in terms of my anxiety when I was about to get it done but honestly, when I was sat there and he was doing it, sure it was a little bit uncomfortable, but it really wasn't like the most painful thing ever. So I wouldn't worry too much about the pain. It's like all piercings when you get it done, it's like, ah. Oh. But once it's done, honestly, it's fine and it's not caused me any pain since. In terms of cleaning my piercing, all I've been doing is using hot water and salt and I mix that together and I create my own kind of like salty water solution and I then put that around the rook piercing with a cotton bud. I mean I'm lucky because my piercer doesn't try to sell me lots of like aftercare treatments and I really do think it's as simple as putting salt and hot water together, cleaning it every day and every night and honestly mine has not caused me any problems, I've not got any infections. I've just made sure I've done it morning and night, so like when I wake up and then before I go to bed, just to make sure it is kind of sanitary. And the obvious thing is not to kind of pick at it. The weirdest thing for me is that I found that it was quite itchy sometimes, but if you kind of sit there and itch it with your finger, of course you're gonna get any bacteria that's on your finger to the rook piercing and then it could infect it. But if you just leave it alone and just let the kind of salty water solution do its thing. Honestly, it will kind of heal very quickly. And now I'm able to sleep on this side. Before, that was the only thing that when I got it done, I could, it's not that it was painful, but I could feel it. Obviously, if I touched here, I could feel it. I was aware of it and I couldn't sleep on this side. But that kind of subsided after about a week. And, you know, now it's not a problem. It's kind of, it's not healed, but it's not painful. So I'm just letting it heal a little bit more, but, yeah it's absolutely fine and it's really not that painful. I got another question asking how long it takes to heal and that totally depends on the person I'd say. They said to me when I got it done it can take anywhere between kind of like three months to nine months. And it completely depends on how well you look after the piercing. Obviously if you don't really like look after it and clean it every day then of course it probably will 
could even take longer than nine months because it's still like a hole in your ear that your body is naturally going to try and fight against but if you're going to just clean it every day you know it just does it the world of good and I would definitely recommend doing that if you don't do anything else and I'd say that mine's kind of almost healed to be honest so I'd probably say that mine will probably be fully healed in about three months time and then I can change the jewellery if I want to but I do just have like a very plain like silver barbell in it and I think I'm going to keep that for the time being I've seen some really cute like little hoops that you can get for it I think at the moment I'm just going to keep this stud in until I decide that I just want to change it up a little bit but yeah but obviously I touched on the fact that it was pierced with a kind of like curved barbell and this one in my ear is eight millimeters long he told me that so obviously like if I want to get some new jewelry I went to my piercer and basically he said that if I got a new one then he would change it for me if I wanted him to or obviously I could do it at home I'm more than likely going to go back to him to kind of get his help because I don't want to take it out and not be able to put it back in and that's obviously again one where infections can be caused and also it can close up and obviously I don't want that to happen but yeah I think that's quite general I think they'll generally pierce with a stud just because it's easier to clean and it's obviously a little bit less fiddly it is kind of like hidden away in your ear so it is one of those piercings that you know they kind of have to get in a little bit of an awkward position to do the piercing but I just feel like this is the best way to kind of keep it whilst it's in its healing process and then you can get some like really cute rings and stuff for it but I definitely recommend leaving this in until it has fully healed and that you know it's like completely done but I just think it looks really cute as it is anyway so I'm not in no rush to kind of change it around sometimes piercings like when I got my tongue done it was pierced with a bar that was way too long for the piercing just to kind of allow for the swelling I suppose but my rook was swollen on the first day because naturally there was like a needle went through it but after the first day I'd say after 24 hours it completely kind of went back to normal it really wasn't swollen at all it was slightly red sometimes and once I cleaned it it was obviously a little bit red because I had almost tampered with it in the sense of obviously I was cleaning it it had hit it and it became a little bit sensitive but at no point kind of did it swell to the point of like ow it was honestly fine and i definitely recommend it but all in all i think that if you're considering getting a rook piercing and you've been watching loads of youtube videos if you've been kind of doing your research which absolutely is fine to make sure that it's a piercing that you definitely want but the good thing with piercings is that if you don't like it you can take it out it's not like a tattoo that's completely on your skin forever I've had piercings before that I thought I really liked and then years later I decided that I no longer liked and I could just take it out and it's healed over. So it's one of those things that it can be hidden really well so if you're not allowed piercings at work you can actually hide it but if you decide kind of in a year, two years, ten years time that you don't like it anymore you can just take it out. So I would say go for it if you're considering it. You won't regret it. It looks really really cute and I absolutely love it. It's one of my favourite piercings that I have at the moment and my next one I really want to get is my conch so I definitely will do a video and kind of let you know how I get on with that but I really hope this has helped anyone that's considering getting a rook piercing honestly go for it it's not that bad everyone will kind of like hype it up to make it something it's not and quite often I feel like YouTube does a really scary job of like fearing you away from getting a piercing and I think if you really want it it's your body go for it if you're scared about the pain which honestly it made me gibberish and I'm not that usually that bad when it comes to piercing pain but I was scared because of the amount of videos that was like it's the worst thing ever but honestly it was fine so I just say go for it if you don't like it like I said you can take it out but I'm sure that you won't if you've done your research and you know it's a piercing that you want just go for it. You're going to really, really like it. And I hope this video has helped you decide whether or not you're going to get it done. If you have, let me know in the comments because I'd love to hear about your experience. Because I know that everyone experiences it slightly different, which is why it's good. There's so many different YouTube videos online because I might have had a really positive experience with my piercing, but someone else might have had a negative one. And it helps to show kind of like the bigger picture. But for me, it's something that I definitely don't regret getting done. I absolutely love it. And I just say go for it if you really like it just do it honestly you will absolutely love it so I hope you've enjoyed this video if you did be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel I upload twice a week and I really hope you enjoy my future videos bye guys